A great mid-Missouri matchup on the gridiron tonight. Helias and Rockbridge both came into the night ranked fifth in the state in their respective classes. The Crusaders hoping to celebrate a happy homecoming against a much bigger Rockbridge Bruin team. Great start for Helias first quarter. Wyatt Porter, the quarterback keeper, in from 10 yards out. Helias quickly on top, 7-0 later in the first. Garrett Bushjost takes the handoff. He's in. That's a five-yard score, 14 to nothing. Crusaders looking good early. Rockbridge would answer, though, with a homecoming court cheering on. Logan Tweehouse scrambles. He will eventually find Zach Reuter, and he will go in for the score. Bruins on the board. It's now a 14-7 game. Answering back, though, Helias Porter to the air. Hale Henches on the receiving end. Nice diving catch in the end zone. Elias extends the lead. It's 21 to 7 and Phil Pitts loving that. Rockbridge right back though. Tweehouse to Alex Afadle makes a defender miss and he will go 39 yards. That makes it a seven point game again. It's 21 to 14. But Elias going into the bag of tricks. The halfback pass Bush Jost to a wide open Christian Hake. That's easy. 69 yards for the touchdown. 28-14, Helias would add a field goal to make it 31-14 at half. The defense, four interceptions for the Crusaders. They win this thing in a rout. 59-21, Helias, a huge victory to go 4-2 on the season. Rockbridge also 4-2 after falling to the Crusaders. Rainy day for Mike Jones and the Blue Tigers welcoming Emporia State. This is a good football team and they were very good today. Antonio Brown, the early touchdown, put Emporia up 7 to nothing. Brent Wilson, the quarterback, going to keep this one. He'll go 27 yards to the house. That made it 17 to nothing. Emporia State was not a very happy homecoming at Lincoln today. Antonio Brown, four touchdown runs. This one made it 31 to nothing. 52 14 the final as Emporia spoils LU's homecoming. Westminster falls on the road today, losing to Eureka, Missouri Valley. Beats Central Methodist big, and it was Missouri S&T falling at Indianapolis.